the 1940s called. They said we completely missed the mark, specifically the lessons learned from the New Deal that coincide with Maslow's hierarchy of needs. The New Deal created the fastest growth in American history. Why? It created an infrastructure program that addressed the bottom two levels of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, allowing the natural actualization of the third. You see, the base level of needs, as described by Maslow, is physiological. Do you have food, water, housing? Are you going to starve or die from exposure to the elements? Seeing that there has been an eviction crisis plaguing this country, I would say we, as a country, are failing our citizens at the most fundamental level of human biology. Step two is safety. Do you have employment? But more than that, does that employment enable step one? Meaning, do you have a job, but it pays you starvation wages where you are un unable to get ahead? If you are unable to feed your family, if you are unable to buy nice clothes in order to actually be successful at a job interview, what good is a job? What good is a job if the only purpose is to be outrage is to outrageously reward the CEO while creating serfdom conditions for the workers? These conditions caused the American Revolution in the first place. If people can't survive, they can't find safety. If people aren't safe, they can't find step three, love and belonging. Do you feel like a valuable part of the community when you feel uh, and feel loved and a sense of purpose if you feel you are at risk of your job being outsourced to China or Mexico at a moment's notice? When I lived in Indiana, after my honorable discharge from the army in 2003, I was working at a factory called Bartlett. The executives one day called a whole factory-wide meeting to discuss rumors. We acknowledge that people have heard that the factory is going to close and ship to Mexico. We have your best intentions in mind and have no intention of doing that. In less than two weeks, they fired everyone except a skeleton crew to transition the move to Mexico. Flat lied to our faces. We have politicians that bow to business owners over everything. But what good are business owners that sacrifice the working class for short-term quarterly gains? Is it any wonder that Americans are at each other's throats? Is it any wonder that Donald Trump, an obvious con man, could convince so many people that he was sincere when all around them, these very same people see nothing but ravenous predators coming to pounce on their livelihood? It appears that America is cracking at the seams like Rome once did. It doesn't need to be this way. It is all in our values. Our value statements have allowed us to in good faith, bail out corporations who said they needed it, like the airline industry. What happened when they were bailed out? They had massive layoffs. Now what is happening? Flight cancellations all over the place, prices going up, they're artificially creating a scarcity so they can raise prices on already starving and underpaid Americans. This is what the political establishment calls business ethics. Does that give you a sense of community? Does that give you a sense of safety? Does that help your physiological needs? Or does the American business philosophy fly in the face of everything that makes the American dream great? When we rob opportunities from fellow patriots, we strip from them a sense of meaning and purpose. To anyone who has seen The Matrix 2 Reloaded, Smith was hell-bent on destroying the world by how offended he was that Neo attempted to strip him of purpose. If we want to go the way of Rome and become a failed empire, then we should keep going down this path. If, however, we actually believe in divine providence, that people are children and agents of God, what glory awaits us if we are able to actualize the very necessary steps to help the American working class to again identify with a sense of love and a belonging within this beautiful American experiment of ours.